the young man was working on the slate for what two or three days and all of a sudden today he's working on the uh, hood exhaust and still got we got this slate done we still got all of that one and all of that one to do with both gates you gotta clean that up and stain it this bedroom is completely done I think uh, just finish up the windows put the screens on and clean everything up everything is done in both bathrooms except the ceilings need painted and they'll just do that when the painters come back but all the hardware everything's in all these happen is turn the water on kind of wish I'd put that black stripe around this bathroom too but that glass mosaic tile is kind of expensive and I just felt that it didn't need to be in here for the extra expense we're still trying to hit budget it's not going to happen we're going to be a little over budget but we're not going to be very far over um, everything's done in here except the exhaust for the dryer they also got to add this other light thing out here I almost forgot about that they put a light here and there they said Toby that's retarded the plan shows for one here and here why would you have one over there you need to balance it out so some put to him one here one there and one over there put three of them out here just to make it look even dad's working on the tops of these and as i said earlier he's working on the getting this here up here moved over he's got the tile so he can finish this out and get the exhaust they got to come in and clean up all these boxes these holes around them this bathroom's all done except the paint on the ceiling again I don't like how this turned out. The water valves right directly below this. I don't know why they didn't put this over here. And there's no need to put it right above the shower or right below the shower in any house in Thailand because they, they do them all this way. So these things are a waste of money, folks. I'm telling you right now, there's maybe two weeks out of the year you really need them. And I went and wasted money on buying an extra big one for the master bathroom, right? Well, in the end, the reality is the water tank's sitting out there in a the shop. It's going to be hot anyhow, so they're a waste of money in Thailand. For those of you that aren't familiar with these, this is the water coming in. When you turn this on, it just lets water go through that on-demand heater, and it just starts spraying out here. So this is your on-off for the shower. This valve here is going to be the on-off for this one, and I'm assuming it's it's... A or B, not both, but I don't know. We haven't run it yet. And someone suggested this. I don't know who it was, but we're going to get a roll of blue painter's tape. Just tear little pieces off as we walk around. Just stick little pieces everywhere we see damage that we want fixed. So I did get the electrical for my lights on the tops of these columns uh, sealed up. That's ready to go. That one other wire is for the motor for the drive gate. With this set up here, I think we're good to go now on this drive gate situation. I'm hoping they get busy on these and get them done so I can get my part done. I'm not heading out to Pattaya until we got gates from both these. Um, and, and I can keep telling Tom that if somebody walks in there, they're going to get in here. No gate, no fence, no nothing's going to stop them. But at least they can't just drive up in here and wander around because people do that all the time here. There is no such thing as private property. It's just property. And if there's something on there they want to look at, they just walk on and look at it. Um, like I said, it's hot as hell out in the sun. I was just cooking out there now. But you get in the shade, you know, it's probably 90 degrees right now, I suppose. It feels pretty damn good, the fan's running. So with that said, I'm going to get off here. I only got two hours sleep last night. And I'm going to sit here in this chair and take a nap. The end of another day in paradise. It's cloudy most of the afternoon. I once it started getting hot around 1 o'clock, it started clouding up. Yeah, we have storms off in the distance, but I think them are headed the other direction. I think I talked about this earlier. We've got the upper bracket and the lock bracket there. On the front gate, I think I'm going to put that lock bracket over here because this is held at a pretty constant distance here. So I'll be able to just snug them up close. I mean, this is okay. It'll be all right. But uh, I just put a reusable zip tie on there for now just so the cows or wind or whatever can't roll it open because it rolls pretty easy. But again, there's no sense locking it because if somebody wants in, right, they're just going to step through the fence. So on the house, things are starting to wrap up here. Uh, I just, I don't know, it depends how long it'll take to get the camera guy in here and the painters, but these guys 
all the cabinet doors and cabinets installed today. They said they're going to do the hood and the sink tomorrow. Stove is just a drop in, really simple. They said they're going to get this tomorrow. Oh, they got to tile it. So I imagine they'll just tile it and then wait a day. They'll get that tiled in the morning. They'll go in there and work on that stuff, let that sit till the following day and then finish this up. Plan is to finish these tomorrow as well. Uh, we're running short on white tile. So we think we got enough we can piecemeal this together over here and still make it look right out of the scrap pieces. And that'll leave me enough to put a white band around here, but we're out of white, so we're going to use this black top to do the legs on both of these. And it'll just have a white band right where he's at right now. In fact, he might be doing it right now. He didn't work on any of the uh, rock today. I mean, I told Sompit we got to get rid of the extra dirt, so we're going to have to get a truck in here. But he's going to have to bring something in here to get that shit out of the front yard. So whatever he brings in, we're going to use it to get this extra dirt while well, that corner still needs filled over there and by that pole it's still all dug out because when the wall guy went to level this all out he couldn't get over there because all the wires were in the way oh the other thing we got to do is we got to hook up the main power to the pea lines they're just running on a couple jumper wires right now but i told sompit as soon as they start working on those front columns out there i'm going to go get the steel get it delivered we're going to start building that front gate, but I don't want to get too far ahead of them because I don't want the gate laying out here in the driveway for a week. Paradise rice is coming up. We would plant that about five days ago, six days ago. I don't remember now, maybe a week. Rice is getting thick over in that one. This one, a couple over there, over there. Wow, look at that rain coming down on the mountains over there. That's a heavy rain. And you know what? I think it's moving this way. That's strange because in the States, I could always tell what the weather was doing. Here, you stand and look at the clouds, and you can't even tell which way they're going 90% of the time. They're just kind of hanging there. And in the U.S., the jet stream moves primarily west to east, so you know every, all the weather's moving west to east, except in a rare occasion when you get a hurricane or something. But here, it goes every direction. You know, Sampa just got here. I'm going to have her take a look at her cupboard, see what she thinks. All right, mid-morning. Uh, got here a little bit late. I was editing video. Now, Grub One has got that tile done on that. He did growl it yet. He's working on this one. And then I think he's going to get this one yet today. And that will be the end of the tile work, I think. She's up there grouting. He's caulking all the doors in. I imagine he'll get the bathrooms this morning. And the termite control people have showed up to give us the first official treatment. They did a pre treatment before we put the floor in when they installed all these pipes but this first treatment is free of charge it's part of the service they brought these little doors to put over there but they got the pipe so close to the trim doesn't look like the doors are going to work very well okay we went to catch lack earlier while we were over there it poured rain here and uh i didn't mention that last night it poured for about probably an hour straight i think this is already past us or headed the other direction i'm not sure i've been watching it for a half an hour it didn't look like it's moving but i'm sure it is uh, that thing's been brewing for a while looks like we got some working on down to the south there so i talked about these guys earlier putting the termite control in there well he came over and got me to verify you know he was done and just show me what he did well these boxes here come in little pieces of plastic like a little plastic bag type cover and uh the tubes were sticking out of there. Well, they cut the tubes off, left them laying here on the ground, left the plastic laying here, um, and over there where that other set is. He showed it to me, and his guys were already in the truck. He turned around and started walking the truck. I bent over. I started picking up all the trash. His truck was backed up here. He stopped the back truck to drink water. I took the trash, walked up to the back of the truck, and went, he was standing right next to me. He looked at me. I just turned around and walked away. He left all the freaking trash there. I threw it right in the back of his truck. He'd take it with him. The pond level has risen probably, I bet it's risen 8, 10 inches in the last couple days because all the rain we've got. The forecast is a uh, chance of heavy rain every day going forward now. We managed to survive the big hot. Now we've got to survive the big wet, which will turn into the big green. And probably the big bite with the mosquitoes. He got these all done. And they did get them grouted. He's a piece for 
this here, we needed to adapt this into this pipe. That's three quarter inch. I couldn't find enough. I looked at every store in town and went to Campylac to get one, couldn't find one. So I ended up just taking a piece of half inch pipe, heated it up and slipped the three eighths inch pipe in there. So now I made an adapter to go from there to there. And that goes in the side of there. So Sometimes you just gotta think out of the box. All right, yet another evening in paradise, one day closer to the end. Gonna have a nice sunset here in just a little bit. Look at the blue and reds up there. Had rain off and on all day, but a big storm come through when we were in Cantillac. We drove through it coming back. Got here and it stopped raining, but we seen some wet spots on the ceiling over here. And about an hour ago, it started raining. Not heavy at all, just a good steady little rain. And water was coming out everywhere. So I'm sure that the problem is not the drains. The problem is the roof is not sealed to the exterior facade. And Duke was up there and looked at it, and I think he's aware of that. So that's going to be the plan to fix it, I think. But the big news is they got this all done. All they have left is to grout the tile. She grouted this already this morning. That needs grouted, and this needs grouted. Inside, they got this done. This done, it's all grouted, looking good. That's grouted, looking good. Um, I think the only thing they have left in here is the sink, the stove, and the hood. I don't know when they're gonna do that. For the most part, everything else in the house is done, I think, except I just realized today when I walked by here, I forgot about these. These have been laying here since we got the tile down. That is mop board. If you don't know what mop board is, it's that board that runs right along the floor down there. This has all got to go in yet. And I don't know if these guys will do it or the painters. But yeah, that's got to go in. That ain't enough to do the whole house. It ain't even close. You're going to need three times that much to go around every floor all the way through every one of these rooms. The big news today is they have laid the last piece of tile for this whole project right there. They just did that backsplash. Because as you've been told, we're going to put a little stove right here for outside cooking. Uh, but they just finished putting all these doors in. And for you guys that don't know, for you folks that don't know, this is called a, a tank door. So you can slide propane bottles in and out of there. That's why it's right down on the floor and the rest of them are not. There's one in our kitchen too. And they have the rock left out there and out on those posts. And once they get that, that should be all the mortar and mortar and brick and mortar and tile, whatever you want to call it. That should be it for these guys. But um, I think they're going to stick around and just kind of do some of the detail stuff too. Like today, mom was in here grouting this little crack here. Normally they don't grout this edge along the wall, but because this is not gonna have mop board on it, she grouted it. Yeah, see this one's not done yet. That needs to be cleaned out and grouted. She'll probably do that tomorrow, I'm guessing. Why would you, why would you put the mirror in front of the trim? Why wouldn't you just lower it down? Instead of putting it in front of the trim on the window, drop it down two inches. I'm gonna have to look at that. But yeah, why would you put the mirror so it covers the trim? Just drop it down an inch or so. And then the other thing that happened today, we were here this morning. We were out here sitting around. It was getting kind of hot, so we had had the fans running here. And uh, so when we left for Cantillac, I shut the fans off and left. And when I come back, see if I can get this in one shot. When I turn this fan on now, it trips the uh, GFI, the ground fault. So we're gonna have to figure that out. I'll be honest with you, I'm worried water got in while we are gone. Remember I said there was a downpour while we were over in Cantillac. So I don't know why else. And it's just the one fan, all the lights. Lights all work without any issues. It's just this one fan. So, and maybe the motor went bad in it or something. Or, Something in the controller here went bad. I don't know. That's the one I had off there to get the gap out of there. It's still a little bit in there, but I didn't do anything to it. I just took screws out, took it off the wall, trimmed the PVC back, and just stuck it back. I didn't change any of the wiring, so I know it wasn't me. That was a week ago. So I don't know. Maybe this motor went bad or something. Tomorrow, we're going to go to Sisaket, Taiwatsudu. We're going to buy a refrigerator, washer and dryer, schedule those to be delivered probably next week sometime. Um, and we're going to get the steel over here and get ready to build that front gate. As soon as they start putting the 
stone out there, trim, putting the trim out there, then I'll start building the gate because I don't want to build the gate and have it laying here in the driveway for a week waiting for them. But I, I have to believe they'll be out of here. It, it's, what, Tuesday today? It's Sunday. It's Sunday. So I have to believe they'll be out of here by next weekend. That stove is just a drop-in stove, so that's right there. Just drop it in. Sink's dropped in. Put the faucet in it. Put this plumbing up. We got that part I created earlier. See, they got this all sealed up today around these. I have to believe a week from today they'll be gone if they can get somebody in here to get this crap cleaned up in the yard and get everything painted. As the painters, I think, they bring the crew they normally bring, they'll be in and out of here in a day, I think. This shouldn't take more than a couple of days. If they start on that, if they can get more of it in here, if they start on that in a couple of days, that'll be done. This mess has got to go. And I'm not going to accept leaving all these pieces of tile and rock and brick and everything else around. He needs to get all that shit out of here. Camera guy, cameras too. The door guys will come back, do the screens, and put the sliding door in there, the roller door. I have to think a, a week. Unless there's a problem getting the painters back here or getting the door guys back here or something like that, I have to believe that a week they'll be done. We'll see, though.